God needs your attention. You've been too busy and distracted with other things. And God says, I will close this door so that I can get your attention. Because if I don't get your attention, this promise that I have for you will not be fulfilled. If I don't get your attention, you will miss track of me walking with you. So sometimes God will close the door and says, I need your attention. And until you give him your attention, you may not see the door open. Most times we love the idea of the scripture that says, I have kept an open door before you, which no man can shut. We love it so much. We pray about it. We shout about it. But the truth is, what if the door that is closed against you, God is the one that closes that door. Now, what am I saying here? I'm not trying to make you afraid, but I'm trying to show you that if there is a door that is closed by the enemy, God has given you the power through Christ to pray and that door can be opened through praying, through believing God. Like Jesus said, that I've given unto you authority to trample on serpent and scorpion and upon all the powers of the enemy and nothing by any means can hurt you. You can do those prayer and the door can easily be opened. You can rebuke the devil and as scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. That can happen. But what if the door is shut by God? What are the steps for you to wait on God for the door that you are expecting him to open, to open up? Now, do we even have a Bible reference for this? Yes. Scripture says in 1 Samuel chapter 1 that God shut Hannah's womb. And when I read that, this scripture in 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 5, I was so like, God, why did you shut her womb? And the scripture says, But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. Talking about the husband. But the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore for to make her afraid, because the Lord had shut up her womb. Now, this is King James. It says that Penina, the other wife, was mocking Anna to get her angry because God had shut up her womb. So she knows it's God that shut up her womb. What did she do? Or what can she do in that situation if it is God that shut up her womb? What if this door that you are trying to get open, God needs you to know and do something before he opens that door? God needs to get to a place of preparation before he opens that door. Scripture says, knock and the door shall be opened. And I found this acronym that deals with or can interpret us knocking on a door. Now, I'll use my Bible as a reference. Now, now do like one tap, tap, T-A-P-S. Now, the first letter in the word tap means treasure. T means treasure. Whenever God closes a door, against you. When I studied the scripture, I realized that God wants you to know that he has a treasure. He has a promise. He has something that he has for you. And if he just brings it to you in a common way, you might take it for granted. In the case of Hannah, Samuel was a treasure to Israel. Samuel was a treasure to God. Samuel was not just like any other child. And it being God gave Hannah this son, just like he gave Penina, he allowed Penina to give birth. And I would not know what to do with the son. And I would not know how to train Samuel. She would not know that Samuel needs to be in the temple to learn because of his destiny. And that is why sometimes if God shut your womb, even as a woman, ask God about the treasure he has and prepare yourself to know that God has a treasure in you and start believing it. And because of God's treasure or his promise for your destiny, God will close that door till you come to realization. It's not as if God refuses to help you or he doesn't love you. It's because he is protecting his promise and protecting you from destroying his promise or taking it for granted. When Joseph was in the prison, being put in the prison undeservedly, Joseph wanted a way out. God used the prison to prepare Joseph. He brought in Pharaoh's servants who did wrong, who offended Pharaoh and he threw them into the dungeon. And Joseph was not in any other prison but the prison that was meant for the servants of Pharaoh, people that were in the temple. So now, Joseph had met with these guys. They had a dream, Genesis chapter 39 and 40. Now, Joseph has helped them interpret their dreams. And he said to one of them that was to be alive, Guy, when you go out, say a word, put a word for me, so that I will be released from this prison. Because now, they know his story. So now, Joseph is in the prison. And when the guy got out of prison, he forgot completely about Joseph. And when I studied that scripture, I realized that God intentionally made that guy to forget about Joseph. 
for extra two years. Joseph remained in the prison. Had it been Joseph was removed from the prison before that two years, what would have been the result of his destiny? We would not have the story of from prison to the palace because probably Joseph would have been nowhere to be found when Pharaoh had a dream. Probably Joseph might have looked for a way to return back home or find somewhere else to run to. But God put him there and closed the prison door against him just for his promise. And God used the prison to prepare him, to prepare his heart, to cleanse his heart. So it is for you to know there is a treasure on your life that God is protecting you from destroying. Because had it been Joseph's life was given for him to decide, he would have wanted to run out of the prison because it was difficult before time. And then the extra two years that Pharaoh had the dream, the man would just remember and be looking for a way. If the man had put a word for Joseph to be removed from prison because he was put there wrongly, he would not owe Joseph any other favor. Let's be honest about that. So now that he has removed Joseph from the prison and Joseph has gone his own way, when it comes to Pharaoh having a dream, they would just be saying, oh, that guy will release, he interpreted a dream for me and all of this. Where is he? No way to be found. God was protecting him. God was protecting his promise. So when there is a closed door, ask God, what is the treasure? What is the promise that I need to become aware of? Number two is attention on the taps. When God is closing a door against you, God needs your attention. God needs your attention. You've been too busy and distracted with other things. And God says, I will close this door so that I can get your attention. Because if I don't get your attention, this promise that I have for you will not be fulfilled. If I don't get your attention, you will miss track of me walking with you. So sometimes God will close the door and says, I need your attention. And until you give him your attention, you may not see the door open. In the case of Anna, Anna started giving God attention. She started praying. She started giving God her time. She went to the temple and committed herself to prayer and cried to God. Instead of eating, she forsook food. And when she cried to God, it was not because of the first thing that she did that God gave her the child. It was because God needed her attention. And when God got her attention, and I even made a promise to God, when I have this son, I will dedicate this son to you to serve you. That was God's plan from the beginning. God needed that son who was his treasure to be at the temple to learn. But if God did not close the door or close her womb, she would not have been dedicated to God for him to become the prophet in Israel that God had designed for him to be. Now it is for you to know God has a treasure on my life and God needs my attention when there is a closed door. That is how you are to wait on God and knock the door. You are waiting on God and keep on knocking the door in prayer by giving God your attention, by recognizing that God has a promise and you become aware of God's promise over your life and then you give God your attention. When you give God your attention, it is a process of God working in you and we get to the third letter, P, which means preparation. You know there is a treasure, you are aware of it. You are giving God your attention and now God is preparing you. God is preparing your mind. God is preparing your character. God is setting you up. For this promise that he has for you. Because without this, God will not get you to the promise he has for you. Knock and the door shall be opened. Keep on tapping. Keep on tapping. Keep on tapping in prayer. Keep on tapping in becoming aware. Keep on tapping in preparing yourself. If it's about your skill, God wants you to design an app. God wants you to design or build a company. God wants you to design something creative to bring an invention. And you are building your capacity and you are learning and you are amassing knowledge and you are trusting God and you are giving God your attention and you are listening to God. Because this is the way you are knocking on the door to be open. You don't knock on the door to be open and you sit down in your house and cry and cry and cry. Go, why has this not been open? This and that. You said you kept an open door before me. And that is not the way. The way is knock, not become emotional. God didn't say become emotional and the door will be open for you. He said knock on the door. And I'm just giving you these tips how to knock. Know there is a treasure and God has a promise over your life. And know that God needs your attention. And when you give him your attention, he is preparing you. Which means in the preparation, there is a process. Don't try to rush out because the preparation will require patience from you. 
And sometimes, like James said, you have to allow patience to do its complete work. You don't need to rush out and be like, okay, 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 now I'm ready. No, you're not ready. Allow God to build in you that patience to complete the work that he wants to do in your life. When God closes the door, give him the time to prepare you. Now, let me give you this example before I give you the last point. The mother of Samson had to come to that realization also because God closed her womb and God sent his angels to talk to her and tell her, no, I closed your womb because I have a treasure and Samson was a treasure. And this is what you have to do. God prepared them for that treasure that was to come. Do not cut this boy's hair. Same thing happened to Elizabeth and Zachariah. They were righteous people. Let me encourage you with this. If you are experiencing a closed door, do not think maybe I've done something wrong. Don't let that become your first thought because that would be, that would mean you are sin conscious. Elizabeth and Zachariah were righteous people before God. Scripture says in Luke chapter 2. But then they had no son. Elizabeth was barren. Now God decided to open her womb and bring John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus. And because there was a treasure, God had to close that womb and hold it for them not to miss, because if they were just giving birth, giving birth, it might be that they would not even know that there is a treasure that is coming and they just treat that child common, like every other child. And God had to tell them, don't take any strong drink because that was God preparing them for the son that was coming. God let them know this is the destiny of this son so that you will not jeopardize the destiny of this child. And I will say this to any parent, any mother, any father here. Every child that comes out of your womb has a divine purpose on their life and you need to consult God to knock on this door with these same steps for God to help you in your parenting so that you help that child come to a place of becoming the treasure in the world that God wants them to become. Now, the last letter is A's, which is specific instructions. God gave Elizabeth and Zachariah specific instructions. Do not let this boy take any strong drink. God gave the mother of Samson specific instruction. This boy's hair must not be cut because he is a Nazarite. How would they know this unless God had their attention? Because they would just treat this child like an ordinary child. When the hair is too hard to comb, they might just cut the hair and be like, your hair is too strong. I can't comb your hair. You are crying every time that I'm trying to comb your hair. So now scissors here. Now clipper here. But they waited and heard God's instruction. And based on that, the boy also was informed. Even though he wasted his life, all you need to know in today's video is that God wants you to knock on the door. And your posture of knocking is knowing that there's a treasure. God needs my attention. God is preparing me through this process by breathing patience in me, building my character, changing me. And there's a specific instruction that I need to hear from God. If God tells me, Move to this place, obedience. Because when you hear the specific instruction, the response you need to bring up is obedience to God. I hope this video is blessing your life and is a blessing to you. Let me know in the comment section how this video has blessed you. I am OM Akpan. This is my YouTube channel. Do well to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Your like means a lot to this ministry because it's going to help YouTube algorithm to share this video to many other people that would need to watch it. And don't forget to share the video to your family, to your friends, letting them know that as they are knocking on the door, God will open the door. But they just need to know that there is a treasure in them. God has a promise over their life. And then God needs their attention. And God is preparing them and preparing them for what he has for them. And God will give them specific instruction, which means I have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit which means I need to be sensitive to God, which means I need to keep on giving God my attention so that when he speaks, if he tells me, open your Facebook now and post about this, I do it. If he tells me, open your app now, open your designer website now, whatever thing that it is in your hands to do, and he gives you specific instruction, you'll be able to obey and then have that open door so that you can give God all the glory at the end of the day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.